What's up guys, it's Mike from Jersey Connect, and today I got two Memphis Grizzlies jerseys right behind me. One is a Nike Swingman jersey, and the other one is a Mitchell and Ness Swingman. What's the difference between the two? Both of these jerseys are both recreations of the early 2000s Memphis slash Vancouver Grizzlies jerseys. This one was built in 2021. They re-released like a hardwood classic night jersey for the Grizzlies. And then this one, I believe is a 2019-2020 run, but it's Swingman that's supposed to be Jason Williams in the 2001-2002. In today's video, we're gonna compare the Nike Swingman against the Mitchell and Ness Swingman and try to find some differences and find some similarities. If you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel is just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell so when I drop new videos, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into it. When it comes to products, both companies have different licensing agreements with the NBA. Nike is a major sponsor for the NBA and they are doing all the current jerseys, all the products for the last three years and I think they have like five years left, something like that. Mitchell and Ness, they have licensing with the old vintage NBA products so they can remake these old classic jerseys and then, you know, using like the older logos and things like that. Both companies have a distinct style of making their Swingman jerseys, but they're pretty much standardized. So with the Mitchell and Ness Swingman jerseys, I mean, you may have different teams, different lettering, different patches for depending on the team, but it's pretty much standardized the whole way. And the Nike Swingman jerseys are pretty much the same. So you'll get different teams, different letters, you know, some teams will have different patches, but it's pretty much a standardized way of how they make both jerseys. When it comes to pricing, both companies have different price points for their jerseys. The Nike Swingman jersey, the standardized version of this, like if we took out the uh, sponsor patch, they usually run about $110. Um, I got this at the Grizzlies team store, so it comes with the sponsor patch, so disregard that. This costed me 135 bucks, but the Swingman jerseys usually range from 110, depending if you get a special one like a city edition or, you know, they release little random ones, it could go 120 to 130. But usually the standardized version, 110. And when it comes to Mitchell and Ness pricing, it's 129.99. So basically 130 bucks all the way throughout. When it comes to the jersey base, both companies use a different type of polyester. So right over here, Nike with their Swingman line, they use Dry Fit, which is a lightweight polyester that has moisture wicking properties. So it keeps you cool, keeps the sweat off of you. And it's very lightweight, very breathable, as you can see here. And then with the collars, they tend to be pretty lightweight as well. They have that rib material, but very lightweight. But when we go to the Mitchell and Ness Swingman, I don't, think this has any performance driven like properties but they use a heavier polyester base you can see how the mesh holes are pretty uh, prominent and the thing I like about the Mitchell and Ness Swingman jerseys is that the rib material here really thick and heavy it's pretty much the same thing on the authentic versions of this just a really high quality really thick fabric for the collars we're actually gonna weigh both jerseys so both are a size medium, and we'll start with the Swingman. This one's 9.7 ounces, so just right under 10. And we'll do the Mitchell and Ness. 10.3. Whoa. I don't know what I'm more surprised with. Either the Mitchell and Ness Swingman being as light as it is. I thought it was going to be heavier, but I guess they're pretty similar. When we take a look at the lettering and numbering, both companies use a heat press model when it comes to their Swingman. So you can see over here, John ja Morant, all heat pressed. And then we got the numbering as well, heat pressed. And they use like a lightweight material on these. They're very malleable. You can kind of fold them and they kind of just plop back into place. And on the Mitchell and Ness Swingman, same thing, all heat pressed. And they actually kind of use a similar material when it comes to their numbering and lettering. Pretty flexible and so far it's pretty much the same when it comes to that. The next thing we're going to look at is looking at the logos and patches. So starting with the Swingman jersey, the Nike swoosh, also heat pressed. And then if you did get the one with the sponsor patch, it's pretty much the same material as the lettering, also heat pressed. Then we go down to the jock tag, swingman, 44. 
It's just a lightweight fabric and material, really flexible. And on the NBA logo on the Nike Swingman jersey, it's on the back instead of the front. That's just the way Nike's building their jerseys, but this one's like a thin heat press piece. And when we go to the Mitchell and Ness, they don't have any like sponsored logo, but they do have the NBA logo on the left hand side. Well, if you're wearing it left hand side, so right over here, it's like a fabric material that they heat press onto it. And then when we go down to the jog tag, I love this about the Mitchell and Ness vintage jerseys. I mean, they have this little material that, very soft material, but it has the name patches. And then they have the Hardwood Classic Mitchell and Ness with the swing man. These things are like super sturdy, really thick. I really like these patches. I think these are dope. But those are some little differences between the two. But on the Nike Swingman jersey, taking a look at the uh, Grizzlies logo, it's like a little heat press piece. And this is another like pretty much the same fabric that they use on the jersey base, but a little thicker. Just look at that. We're going to compare it to the one on the Mitchell Ness Swingman. Heat press piece. It feels like a little thin sticker. And then that material, like I said, is the same. But on the Mitchell and Ness swing man i think what's really dope is they use like a harder polyester piece like this one is super thick kind of similar to the patch down there and they actually embroidered this on that logo which is much nicer than the nike swing man version just look at that now we're just going to take a look at the little details so right over here take a look at the lettering and numbering on the nike swing man jersey I mean, it's heat pressed, but there's no little detail around it. You got the teal trim, red, and then white as well. No little design on it. But when you go to the Mitchell and Ness Swingman, what's really dope, first off, the color pops a lot more off this jersey. So they're a little more detailed in that aspect, but it looks like they're stitching on there. It's a little cool design that they add onto it. So it looks like it's stitching, but it's not. So on the numbering, same style. You see the edge on the teal part. It looks like it's stitched, but it's not. They also have it in the back as well. The last thing we're gonna talk about is this sizing. So just taking a look at the two jerseys side by side, you can tell that the Mitchell and Ness is a little wider. So when I did the measurements, I measured both length. I, they were both size medium both 29 inches but when it comes to width uh, the Nike Swingman is one inch shorter than the Mitchell and Ness as you can see that Mitchell and Ness looks a lot wider just by a little bit but you could tell this one's a little slimmer jersey and that one's a little wider we're gonna take a look at the Mitchell and Ness Swingman jersey so I'm 5'6 175 pounds t-shirt size medium this is a medium fits pretty nice true to size get a little chest room here and it just has an overall relaxed fit, like I said before. So, right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Swingman. And then we got the Nike Swingman jersey. So as you can see, with the Swingman jersey, it's a little more form-fitting than the Mitchell and Ness Swingman. So, that's the one complaint I do hear about these Nike Swingman jerseys, is that, let's say you're a little, like, more on the buff side, or a little bulkier, or got some extra weight on you. Like, normally people like to go a size up because it could be too tight going true to size I do recommend true to size but you know you also got to account for your body type at the end of the day so just by comparing the two and wearing it I could feel like I have more room on the Mitchell and Ness Swingman that one inch makes a slight difference nothing too crazy which Swingman jerseys do you like better do you like the Mitchell and Ness do you like the Nike Swingman let me know in the comments below and thank you again guys for watching and on to the next video